Hello families, it's Miss Penny from Marengo Union Library and we are here to make a family craft. This, um, I say this for all of them, but this is such an exciting craft. Um, we are going to make this super fun um, flower pot, but we're not going to just make any normal flowers. We're going to make our own flowers and we are going to make our flowers out of these just plain old pipe cleaners. So we're going to turn these into amazing, beautiful flowers and we're going to plant them and then we're going to hopefully display them. If you get this done in time, you could set it out for the holidays. You can give it as a gift. You could really do whatever you would like with it. But I'm so excited to do this. Um, they're so fun to make and it'll be even more exciting to do it as a family together. All right, let's see what we can do to get started. In your kit, you are gonna find the directions. Of course, you have to have directions, right? You're gonna find the directions. You're gonna find lots of different colors of pipe cleaners. I'm gonna give you a few pom-poms, just in case. You will have a little flower pot, a little piece of styrofoam, and I'm even gonna throw in a little baggie of dirt. You'll find out what that's for later. You can use dirt, you can use sand, you can use rice, you can honestly use whatever you want. You don't have to use any of it. That's gonna to be totally up to you. In the meantime, what you need from home are a pair of scissors, optional ruler. I did not use a ruler when I made my flowers, but this is totally up to you if you would like a ruler. Um, you need a pencil or um, something like a pencil, so something round like this with maybe a little bit narrower of an end, like a skewer, something like that. You need one of those and hot glue is the best that I found to work, but if you have a different glue choice, feel free to use the different glue. If you're using the hot glue and there's younger kids using it, please make sure there's adult supervision. Always, always have those adults watching because it gets really hot and we don't want burns. That's what you need from home. So let's get started. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to turn these pipe cleaners into beautiful flowers. I have already done this with mine. So I'm gonna show you what I've got. I have got my flowers right here. So I have already done this. I've got one here. And you can make the stems however you wanna make the stems, okay? They can be long, they can be short, they can be crazy, they can be not crazy. Oh, my flower got stuck. So I have this flower. I have this flower, this one. I'm going to have to say is my favorite and I found this one too to be the easiest in my opinion. Well, I guess this one was pretty easy too. These two are probably the easiest in my opinion, but this one's my favorite. I really like this one. All right. And then I made these two. So, um, these two were not as easy as I thought they would be either. I'm going to be honest. They weren't as easy as I thought they would be, but they weren't super hard. I used a little bit of hot glue on all of these flowers just to help hold them all together to make sure they, did, they weren't going to fall apart on me. You don't have to. The directions don't say to use hot glue on all of these. I just did to be safe. That's up to you. Once you have all your flowers together, oh, and might I also add, in your directions, there are directions to make all of these flowers. So you can make all these different kinds of flowers as a family. Or you can choose to just, if you like one of these the best, just make a whole bunch of just that one. It's totally up to you. You're going to have all these pie, uh, pipe cleaners in your kit to use. So you decide what you want to make out of them, okay? Um, so you decide how you want to fill your pot. Um, all right. Once you have your flowers designed and ready to go, you want to take your styrofoam piece and put it in your pot. 
I'm going to put it in sideways because it'll be a nice tight fit right inside. So I just put my styrofoam piece right inside. The reason we're using that is so that it holds these flowers in place. Now I'm going to take my flower and I'm going to stick it right into the styrofoam. Nice. It sticks right in there. This one is a heavy flower. But that's okay. Maybe it is in real life. I'm not sure. If you want your flowers to be tall, leave them tall. If you want them to be shorter, you can either cut it or just bend it. I just took this one and just bent it. Now, if I bend it, I can either twist it or not twist it, whatever. But if I kind of leave it like that, it almost looks like a little stem. But again, I'm just going to stick it however I want to stick it right into my pot. I'm just going to do that with all of my flowers. However you want them to be, you're just going to put them right on in there. And there we go. So you will have this gorgeous flower pot decorated by none other but your family. How beautiful and how fun will that be when people start asking, oh my goodness, or when they just come in and they just say, that is so beautiful. So I'm going to take a little bit. This stem is a little short. I don't know why I made it so short, honestly, but I did. So I'm just going to take another green stem and twist it on there to lengthen my stem it's to, to make it so it's not so short. Otherwise, we won't even see my flower in there, and this is my favorite flower. So that would be a sad day, wouldn't it? I'm just going to twist it on there. There we go. All right, now I have a longer stem. And now I can stick my favorite flower right there. That is my favorite. I really do like that one. Okay, and there we go. I have all my flowers in my pot. The reason I was going to give you a little bit of dirt now is to fill the top so that we don't just see all, I don't know if you can see it from here, but there's all I see is that green styrofoam. I don't really want to see that. I want it to actually kind of look like flowers. So I'm going to fill it. If you don't want to use dirt and you have sand, you can put sand in there. Or if you have a different material, like I think I mentioned earlier, if you wanted to put like rice in there or something like that, you can feel free to use a different material. But dirt will make it a little bit realistic if you want it to look realistic at all. So you can use all the dirt. You can use some of the dirt. I'm going to go ahead and use it all because it goes right up to the top. It's a perfect amount. And now I have a beautiful centerpiece to put up for my next holiday. And I love it. And I made these, but when if I made one with my family, I could say we all chipped in. And I could say, like, who made which flower? That would be so fun. Or we could even make it a guessing game. Like, who, you know, have, have all your guests decide who made which flower? How fun would that be? I'm trying to guess it. Okay. If you have extra greens or leftover green, you can even take them and just put them in as, like, extra, um, extra little leaves kind of in there. Sometimes there are some of that, right? Okay. And that's it though. Now your flower pot is ready to be displayed. You guys have so much fun making this. Feel free to send us some pictures of your pots or even bring them in to show us. We would love to see your finished products. Have fun making this guys. Till next time.